Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Word 2016 tutorial, I'm going to be going over customizing the ribbon. Let's get started. So I opened up a blank Word document here, and the ribbon is everything up at the top here, starting with the File tab, all the way through the View tab, and then down here with all the groups, like the Clipboard group, all the way through the Editing group. All of the buttons inside can be customized as well. So I'm going to show you how to customize this. And let's start by going to the File tab, and then go down here to the Options button. Once you click File and Options, it's going to open up the Word Options dialog box. This dialog box helps change all of your options inside a Word, and so if I go right here to Customize Ribbon, I then see on the right side here all of the ribbon components that I previously named. You could hit the plus or minus sign to expand or collapse your ribbon components, and you'll notice that the Home tab all the way through the View tab is listed right here. From there I could hit the plus sign on, say, the Home tab, and now I see the groups, like the clipboard group all the way through the editing group. Also, you could then hit the plus sign next to the groups to see the buttons within the groups, like cut, paste, copy for the clipboard group. And you can hit the minus sign to collapse any of those things. Alright, so now what I'm going to show you how to do is remove a tab from the group or sorry, a tab from the ribbon. And let's say I want to remove the mailings tab. Keep in mind the mailings tab is right up here and it's in between references and review. If I want to remove a tab, I'm going to hit that check mark and it'll uncheck it. And so now if I click OK, you'll see that the mailings tab is gone. Okay? You may want to remove a tab if you don't ever use the tab. Alright, I'm going to go back into my Word options here and I'm going to show you how to add in the developer tab. And right here is the developer tab. You click it to the check mark, and now I click OK, and you'll now see that the Developer tab is added right after the View tab. This is an important tab to see because this one is on the Microsoft Office Specialist exam. All right. Next, I'm going to go back into my Word options, and I'm going to show you a couple more things. I'm going to go to Customize Ribbon, and now let's uh, let's say that I wanted to create a brand new tab. Okay. Now this is only, or I guess this could be most useful if you let um, needed some buttons that were not normally shown within the normal ribbon, right? So if I am somebody who draws a lot of shapes, for instance, I want to create my own, say, brand new shapes tab where I can draw my own shapes rather than going to the insert tab and then going into the, uh, let's see, what is it, the illustrations group and clicking shapes and then choosing the shapes, that may take a lot longer. So if I draw shapes all the time, I'm going to want to go right down here and click new tab, and I click new tab, and then I'm going to go right over here and it'll create a new tab and a new group. Alright, so I've added in the new tab, now I want to rename it, so I'm going to click on it, and it says new tab custom, and then I'm going to rename and I'm going to call this one My Shapes. And I click OK. And now you'll see My Shapes is added. If I click OK down here, you'll now see that right after the Developer tab, My Shapes have been added. If I click on it, there's nothing actually in here for the groups or buttons, but I'm going to add things in. So I go to the File tab, I go to the Options group, or sorry, the Options button, and I go back to Customize Ribbon. The group is right here. Alright, within this group, uh, I see that I could customize the name on this one as well, and I'm going to go right here to rename. And for the group name, I'm going to call this one Curved Shapes. And I'll click OK. Now I see the tab and the group are listed right here. If I ever want to move these, say to the very top, even before my Home tab, I just have to click on the uh, group itself or the tab itself, and then click the Move Up button. And if I move this all the way up, you'll now see it's to the left of the Home tab. So if I click OK, you'll see My Shapes is now to the left of the Home tab. Keep in mind that the File tab is still pinned to the far left side. That one cannot be moved around. So there's My Shapes. All right, let's go to the File tab, Options, and let's start adding areas to, or adding different buttons to our shapes. All right, so right here, I have a group for curved shapes. I'm going to actually add in some more groups first, and then I'll start adding buttons. So right here, I'm going to click New Group, and you'll see a new group has been added. And if I go right here and click New Group, I could then rename this one. This one here, it's currently called New Group. I'm going to change this to Angular Shapes, and press OK. Then I'll make a new group, and rename that one. So you can see you can make groups pretty quickly in here. 
So I'll call that one connectors, then new group, then rename, and I'm going to call this one quick erase. All right, so I have my groups all set up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add commands into those groups. So right here is my curved shapes, okay? And typically, like I said earlier, when I'm adding in new things, I typically am going to add in buttons that are not already in the ribbon, because if they're already in the ribbon, well, there's no point on adding them to a new tab. So if I go right here, I know that this is going to go in my curved shapes group. I click the drop down arrow. I'm going to go to commands not in the ribbon. And so these are all the commands that are not currently within the already preset ribbon up here. All right, so within here, I'm going to choose the shape for arc, okay? And these are all in alphabetical order. So I'm gonna click on arc right here. And then I make sure that curved shapes is highlighted in gray over here. And then I click add, and you'll see that arc gets added right there. I'm also gonna add in oval. So again, I'm doing alphabetical order. I see that if I click oval over here, arc is currently selected, that's fine. I can press add and now I added in that shape right there. Now I'm interested in um, looking at the um, next group which is the angular shapes and I'm going to add in an isosceles triangle. So I go up to I, isosceles, there we go, isosceles triangle is right there and I'll add that into angular shapes and keep in mind angular shapes needs to be in gray for this to work. I click OK and there's a triangle. Next thing I'm going to add in here is a rectangle. So I find the rectangle, click it. Again, either the angular shapes can be in gray or the last button within it. And I click add and it gets moved over. All right, so the next one that I'm looking at is connectors. So I'm going to go right here to connectors. And I'm going to add in two connectors. And so I'm going to go to E for that. So look for elbow connectors. El, there we go. Elbow arrow connector, which is this one. Add, and then elbow connector. Add, and so now you can see that I have six individual shapes, or individual shapes in here. And finally, I'm going to go to the quick erase, and I'm going to add in clear and clear formats. So I go right here to the letter C, and I'm going to go to CL, which is just up a little bit, and I'm going to add in clear and clear formats right there. All right, notice that as I add them over here, they display. All right, so now I'm going to click OK, and you'll see that the My Shapes button has now been populated with all of the different um, shapes that we added in. Now I can click on any of these shapes and start to draw them. There's an arc shape right there. I release it and there we go. So that's an easy way to customize your ribbon. Now what I'm going to show you is that if you collapse or restore down your Microsoft Word, notice that the shapes will eventually start to combine into the groups. And so you'll see right there in the quick, white, quick erase group we have our two buttons within that. Notice that some of the buttons don't have a um, icon to go with them, but that's okay. If you use them, they just need to be on the um, ribbon, which is what you care about anyway. All right, there we go. So now uh, we're going to restore this back to how it was and open back up the dialog box. And so if you ever want to restore your ribbon back to its preset settings or to its default settings, you go to File tab, Options, Customize Ribbon, and you go right here to Customizations, and you choose Reset All Customizations. Click that. It says Delete All Ribbon and Quick Access Toolbar Customizations. You click Yes. You click OK. And now notice My Shapes is gone. And it's back to how it was. Mailings has been restored, and the Developer tab is no longer there. So that's how you restore the ribbon back to its default settings. So hopefully this video has taught you a little bit more about customizing the ribbon, adding groups, adding tabs, deleting groups and deleting tabs, as well as um, how to restore your ribbon back to its default settings. So if this video has been helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any questions, please put it in the comment section and I'll do my best to respond. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and have a great rest of your day.